Welcome back. You are with us on Trading Hour and as promised, it's time to get you some ideas. If you're looking at investment, this is Diwali and uh, you have uh, fundamentals of the market in mind. Then we have Siddharth Kemka joining in. He's head of uh, retail research, broking and distribution at Motila Lohsal Financial Services. Uh, to take us through their list, Siddharth, thanks very much. Uh, happy Diwali season's greetings to you first of all. Now, uh, you know, we are a little short on time, so I'm going to straight away get to your list, which is which is packed with some very interesting stocks. Uh, while we'll flash all the names, let's pick up the ones that seem really interesting in this. And I'm going to start with Ultra Tech, Siddharth. Uh, tell us, because this quarter has been a pleasant surprise for cement companies across the board. Everybody's beaten estimates on earnings. Uh, do you think it's sustainable and why do you like Ultra Tech? Yeah, so uh, we we have been looking at uh, the entire cement pack, and uh, if you look at companies across the cement space, they have reported a very strong uh, growth on a one-on-one -on -one basis. After a very long time, the consolidation phase uh, is there, so uh, new capacity is not coming, and the uh, the, the new capacity that come is now being consolidated. Uh, even in the monsoon season, uh, things were looking pretty good with. Uh, marginal growth in terms of volume and very marginal pressure in terms of realization. What has also helped is that in this environment, uh, raw metal costs have come down, but demand is somehow sustaining. And uh, especially from a lot of these government projects, uh, which we uh, which we have seen that uh, are uh, started even on the uh, pandemic uh, lockdown phase. So that is something which is heartening. And uh, in this uh, cement space, Ultratech being the largest, uh, the strongest brand, Pan India presence, and one of the best financials. Uh, that is a preferred uh, pick to play uh, the cement uh, sector. Hmm. Uh, Siddharth, uh, morning. Uh, this is Reema here. I wanted to get your thoughts in on Bharti because the price action on Bharti, notwithstanding what happened in the last one month when the stock has recovered from levels of 400, from May to uh, you know September, October, we saw a very steep fall in Bharti from levels of 600 to 400. Now, at current levels, it's looking interesting to you. Why is that? So, Reema, good morning uh, and uh, uh, happy Diwali to all of you and the viewers. Uh, the we had seen some fall off that was mainly on back of non fundamental factors, mainly uh, the shareholding uh, pattern from the uh, NSDL, where uh, under the uh, foreign ownership under the automatic route is still limited to 49%. And as per the latest notification, they are waiting for some clarification. Once that goes back to 100%, I think the outflows that we saw uh, over the last few months that might reverse. That notwithstanding, if you look at the core fundamentals, uh, the company has reported highest ever EBITDA uh, in their history. Uh, the, uh, the data packs and uh, the data usage has only gone up, which is helping improve ARPUs. So without tariff hike, they have been, uh, in the last two quarters, they have managed to improve ARPUs, which is very heartening. And that is because of the mixed change, uh, where a lot of 2G subscribers are moving up the ladder into 4G, where uh, you, obviously, the uh, the monthly uh, amount is higher. So uh, that is one. Uh, the uh, the issue of uh, AGR case and all the other issues are now behind the sector. We believe from here on, uh, things are looking good for uh, the telecom space. The pandemic only has added to the tailwind with a lot of work being done from home. A lot of people uh, using their data packs, and that is only going to increase. So uh, we believe uh, Bharti with the best uh, financial uh, among the uh, telecom space is best suited to benefit. And definitely the price correction offers a very good oppor uh, entry opportunity for long-term investors. Okay, so you're gunning for at least 200 rupee up move from where we are. That's Bharti Airtel. So that now let's come to a couple of the consumer plays that you like. And uh, I, I found Crompton con Consumer quite interesting over here. Um, so, is it a valuation call because it has several other pairs as well if you want to play consumer durables as Whirlpool, etc. You could look at Blue Star, Voltas. Uh, so, why Crompton Consumer? Yeah, so you picked up rightly, uh, while we like the entire consumer discretionary space, Voltas had been our top pick for quite some time and we have seen the, the run up in Voltas and the valuations. So we believe that uh, uh, even Crompton with its uh, uh, product suit basket is uh, Blaze has a strong brand and MNC parentage. And uh, the only thing was lacking is about uh, uh, the growth which was lacking uh, behind some of the peers, which is now inching up. And uh, on back of that, we expect the valuation gap also uh, to uh, close down. And hence, uh, the uh, preferred choice 
at least to play uh, from a one year perspective is to look at stocks which have still not participated and has the potential uh, to participate over the next one year and uh, finally dabar is a stock that you're recommending this uh, samvat is it this whole ayurvedic this natural therapy which is driving your interest in dabar vis-a-vis -vis the other names yeah so dabar uh, has a good uh, mix of say uh, focus on the herbal segment some of the power brands that they are focusing on and uh, if you look at last few uh, years they have a spate of new launches uh, that is helping them uh, improve the product basket and finally uh, there is a new initiative uh, to increase the direct distribution reach and some of the cost initiative uh, cost saving initiatives which uh, is helping improve margin so all overall uh, a good consumer play uh, with uh, some uh, presence uh, in the rural segment as well as in the urban segment making us uh, positive on that space that before we let you go since uh, the, it's been all about the recovery in financials that's what's made our diwali so bright i have to ask you about uh, the bank picks that you have now you like both sbi and icici bank but let me make life harder which one do you like more if you were to pick one stock between the two uh, so zubi if i were to look at uh, from a one year perspective and from a margin of safety perspective i would i, I would prefer an sbi uh the uh, bank uh, the latest quarter results were very heartening uh, we believe that the earning normalization cycle for uh, sbi has just begun and with its uh, subsidiaries doing well which are contributing almost 180 rupees to the overall uh, uh, so, so we can say about 150 to 180 rupees uh, contribution of subsidiaries on whom you are talking to or what kind of valuations you are taking so you have the sbi life you have the sbi mutual fund you have the sbi cards uh, and a, a lot of other uh, um, uh, subsidiaries that contribute so that provides the margin of safety and the core business where we believe that uh, earning uh, recovery is just started so overall uh, we believe that uh, that's a good recovery play uh, for the uh, for the market uh, in in the financial space Hmm. Uh, and so that pharmaceutical names have taken a bit of a back seat as people have started now focusing on more of these economy facing cyclical kind of stories uh, but if, would you recommend any pharma names for safety i see you like divis laboratory uh, you've put a target price of 3520 on that uh, what's the story and why that over the others yeah so uh, the report uh, the report we released before the quarterly results and post uh, the quarterly results we have upgraded the target price of dvs to about 3900 so that gives us further uh, room for upside in dvs uh, yes uh, pharma stocks have taken a beating in the recent uh, uh, days but that's more of kind of a profit booking after the sharp run up generally uh, we uh, we know that before any news comes people expect that the uh, vaccine development and all those things will happen a lot of focus was there on sectors which benefited out of uh, the uh, the covid and now with vaccine coming in things would become normal people are are shifting their focus away from the defensive the it and pharma pack to some of the uh, the core economy or the cyclical sectors Uh, having said that uh, we believe that pharma uh, the the growth has just begun and has a, a huge headroom for growth over the next few years the structural change that we saw in the recent past the rate of uh, product approvals plant approvals uh, will only add on to the growth and that is uh, that is something uh, that we believe uh, would drive uh, some of these uh, companies and obviously in that we are liking dvs given its uh, market leadership in the api space that is one segment which has consistently done well and uh, even if you look at the recent results they were pretty strong uh, the company is taking cost uh, in, uh, initiatives as well as new capex plans to drive growth okay. so that's that's one pick that we like from pharma space all right sadhar thank you very much for joining in and uh, once again seasons greetings to you that's the word from motilal oswal well back to corporate conversations and